Now let us take this problem that what is the height of rise in capillary tube? We discussed about what is capillary action. Capillary action is nothing but rise of liquid in a very thin tube due to the action of pressure acting inside the liquid. Now, due to this action, soaking of towel or something, this happens, we discussed before, right? Filter paper that soaks water. Again, that is the same. Now, even litmus paper. Now, height of rise can be calculated how? Let us consider a very thin capillary tube. Capillary tube is nothing but a thin narrow tube. Let us say water is filled like this. We know that the water starts rising from here. And it rises up to a certain point. Let us say this much. Right? Let me draw it a little bit thick. Right. Let us say it reaches a certain height, h. This is the water level. So h will be given by this. This is the height h of rise of liquid inside the capillary tube. Now, let us say R is the radius, small r is the radius of this capillary tube. Now, we know that the meniscus takes the shape of a concave in case of water, right, or any other liquid except mercury which takes con uh, convex uh, shape upwards. So, in this case, if the uh, tube is very very uh, thin or very very uh, it is having very very low radius or low diameter what will happen this meniscus will be almost a sphere a hemisphere more or less right so if this is a hemisphere its radius will be more or less equal to r right let us calculate what will be the total volume from here till here now since this angle is being made over here this area, let us say this is C, D, E, F. This will be given, this is A, this is B. This will be given by what? This will be given by area of C, D, E, F is equal to pi R square into H, which is nothing but R. Right? R is the radius and R is the height. So pi R cube minus what will be uh, the, uh, the volume of this sphere this will be equal to 2 by 3 pi r cube right this will be given by 1 by 3 pi r cube where r is the radius of this capillary tube now area of a b c d which is nothing but again a cylinder downwards this will be given by pi r square h right total volume of the liquid will be given by pi r square h plus 1 by 3 pi r cube over this area right to this height this is the volume this will be given by pi r square into h plus r by 3 right now total volume is given by this therefore we know that if the density of the liquid is rho let us say density is equal to rho then mass of this liquid will be given by volume multiplied by density right that will be given by pi r square into h plus r by 3 into rho and the weight of this much of liquid will be given by pi r square into h plus r by 3 into rho g 
this will be the weight of liquid and it will always be acting downwards right now let us say s is the surface tension if s is the surface tension acting over here right due to the meniscus and the angle let us say angle of meniscus is theta then the surface tension will be acting like this right and its normal reaction will be upwards equal and opposite to the surface tension now if surface tension is acting downwards which is equal to s and this is the theta angle the vertical downwards action will be what s cos theta and s sin theta will be acting in this direction similarly r cos theta will be acting a vertically upwards and r sin theta will be acting this way right when r sin theta is acting this way these and these cancels out right and these does not, uh, does not you know uh, just provide any uh, disturbance in this we are concerned about this reaction now this reaction should balance the weight of the water so r cos theta multiplied by what is the um, uh, means uh, a surface tension is always uh, per unit length right so per unit length now this will be given by what this will be given by the by the circumference of this particular meniscus so this will be multiplied by 2 pi r right or in other words r is equal to s so this can be written as s cos theta multiplied by 2 pi r this is vertically acting uh, upwards force now this force should be equal to this so this will be equal to pi r square h plus r by 3 rho g what it becomes we need to find out h plus h the value of h so h plus r by 3 will be written as s cos theta into 2 pi r whole divided by pi r square rho g here it becomes r pi r pi r cancels this becomes 2 s cos theta divided by r rho g h plus r by 3 is this implies h will be given by 2 s cos theta upon r rho g minus r by 3 this is the equation of ascent in case of a liquid that is the height of rise of liquid in a capillary tube now the thermometer works on the same concept again right the other um, uh, actions are also capillary like uh, if we are making a gas thermometer by water it can also be made just only the height of the uh, thermometer will be very high as compared to the uh, present thermometer which is using mercury so this is the height of rise or height of fall in a liquid as per the concave and convex uh, meniscus then 2s cos theta by r rho g minus r by 3 is the height when r is very very small this r by 3 can be neglected and the height becomes only this much right so this is the equation of ascent.